I'm a little emotional right now. For eight months, eight straight months of painful, miserable, standing, itchy boat work. I told myself it would all be worth it because this boat was going to take us to see one thing we just saw. sponsored by AG1 by Athletic Greens. <laughs> AG1 is a nutritional supplement you mix with water. Each scoop is nine health products in one, giving you the equivalent of a multivitamin, minerals, probiotics, and more. AG1 is developed to give your body everything it needs for optimal performance. Stay tuned to find out how to get one year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs. If you've been with us for a while, you know we ask a lot from our bodies. AG1 helps our bodies keep giving what we ask. One scoop, one minute, every day, that's it. We have noticed the energy boost while working long hours on the boat, the immune support with all our cross-country driving, and the focus support while spending hours staring at the computer. Click our link below to get a one-year supply of vitamin D3, K2, and five free travel packs. With your first purchase, this, and especially that, could certainly come in handy if your weather is going to look a little bit like this for the next few months. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much AG1 for sponsoring this video. If you guys are just joining us, bought this boat for $100. While our catamaran is still being built, we spent eight months in the boatyard fixing it up, getting her into great shape, and we just cruised her up the coast and now we're in the Pacific Northwest. So it's been a little while since we pulled the camera out. We made the whole trip up here. It was as calm as it could possibly be. If you haven't watched those videos, go check them out. And then we had some family come and visit. Have fun! Oh, that did good. Good. Oh, yeah. Took a little break from filming. Yeah. Took a little, little vacation. And a break from boat work too, <laughs> which was so nice. And it's been a little hard to get back into it. We have a few projects left that we want to do on the inside. It's so beautiful up here right now. We're going to put those on pause and we're going to go check out Canada. Going to Canada, baby. Hey! They say A up there. Canada will be Jetty's 10th country. Are you ready? Do you want to go to Canada? Anyways, we're super excited. Um, we've heard amazing things about Princess Louisa, about Desolation Sound, the Gulf Islands, the bears, orcas, oysters galore. We're very, very, very excited. We're on our way now. We're going to check in in Vancouver tomorrow. We're going through the San Juan Islands now. Something I didn't think about until about five minutes ago as we got underway is that my vaccination card says Sierra Growth and my passport says Sierra Sweezy and you have to either be vaccinated or show proof of a negative test, which I didn't get a negative test. I am vaccinated, but I hope we have our marriage certificate. So I hope if it comes to an issue that I can just show those documents and it'll be okay, but cross your fingers. Do you think we'll see Orcas this time? I was hoping we would see them like right around as we rounded Cape Flattery and entered the Straits of Juan de Fuca, but it didn't happen. But the suspense has been building. So the longer it takes to see them, the more exciting it's gonna be.
How you feel about crossing the line? We're, are we in Canada? We're in Canada! Woo! Jenny, how do you feel about your 10th country? I guess you're not legally checked in yet, but as soon as you are, we'll add a little stamp. We haven't pulled one of these things out in a while. I know, huh? All right, well, we left at like 5.30 this morning and I'm glad we did because we are just about to turn in towards Vancouver, but the wind picked up on us pretty good, like 15 to 20 knots probably. It's getting a little choppy out right on our nose, right on our port bow. Got a little spray going on, but it's right because like I said, we're about to make a right-hand turn right into Vancouver and we should be there. How many miles away are we? making that right-hand turn for a while. Oh. We're still 20 miles away. 20 more miles into some uh, head-on chop. We've just saw, spotted a couple of really big logs in the water or old pilings or whatever they are. So we're keeping a really sharp eye because that would just suck to hit one of those. What we'd be most nervous about, it probably wouldn't penetrate the hull or anything. It could bend a prop or bend a shaft or something like that. That'd be, uh, wouldn't be good. We are just keeping a really sharp lookout now. See if I can find another one and get it on camera. Okay, great. Okay, great. Roger, you are uh, in, aware of this situation then? Roger, uh, what's the name of the vessel, over? This is a Mayday call going on right now. You don't hear very many many Mayday calls. Mayday is, for those of you guys who don't know, it's a call you put out on the radio if there is a danger okay, to... Uh, your transmission was stepped on sink and over. I forget what the actual terminology is, but basically if your boat's gonna sink or if someone's at risk of dying, that's basically what a Mayday is. It's maritime law that you're supposed to assist in in a mayday if you can if you're within the vicinity oh shoot they gotta keep out logs everywhere roger victory go straight up standing by thought i heard i think we hit a small one just a small little so we're gonna make sure i don't think we're in the area so i mean we obviously won't be able to assist then Roger, our GMP vessel is en route uh, and the Ganges flight boat is one zero minutes away over. So they're like 20 miles away. There's a lot of other boats in that area and it sounds like someone's already assisting over there. If we were out in the ocean and we were only 20 miles away, we would certainly go and assist. We're in this enclosed body of water. It would take us like almost three hours to get there. Coast Guard could certainly get there much quicker. Hopefully that person's all right. It sounds like it was someone, it was a medical emergency on board a fishing boat and someone's on board not breathing. Yeah, that's wild. We don't hear many maydays. I don't, I don't know if I've ever heard a mayday actually. On, on like live on VHF. That might be my first one that I've ever heard. Here, check out this branch. So that's exactly what we're looking out for. We don't want to hit one of those. We're only about 14 miles from the arena we're going to in uh, Vancouver. Just another few miles out in this open water. It's getting a little calmer. We're getting a little bit protected over here by some land on the windward side. Almost there. This is why people want stabilizers. Literally, table, we didn't think we needed it bolted down because it's so heavy, but that went flying. This whole couch part came connect disconnected and went across the room. No, that's all. Are we all set? Yep, you're all good. Have a great trip.
All right, thank you so much. I didn't even need that. I told her we had Jetty. I told her we had all our paperwork, but they didn't need anything. Um, we're checked into Canada. We gotta take this flag down. That's supposed to be on the starboard side. <laughs> After we checked in in Vancouver, our friends Matt, Laura, and CJ came to visit. We had a blast fishing, hiking, oystering, and chasing waterfalls together. We try to put the camera away when we have friends come visit, but we couldn't pass up sharing these moments with you. I'm a little emotional right now. For eight months, eight straight months of painful, miserable, standing, itchy boat work. I told myself it would all be worth it because this boat was going to take us to see one thing we just saw. Multiple of that one thing. We saw orcas in the wild from our boat on a trip we made by ourselves on a boat we bought for $100 that we turned into something that could go up the coast to a different country and see these amazing creatures. We were literally just tied up to a dock and I heard them. I heard <gasps> I looked over and there's multiple giant fins up in the air. And then we saw some tail wafts. They were definitely feeding. I'm like working on the upper helm up here, just like bleeding the steering a little or messing with it. And Sierra comes and she's like, Billy! And like the look on her face and the tone of her voice, I swear I thought someone chopped their hand off. Because and everybody was up top. Immediate emergency attention. And then and then I was trying to figure out what the heck she's saying. And she's I, apparently she was saying orcas or and then my friend Matt right here is grabbing my arm, Billy, what's that? So silly. I'm like, what? What is going on? And then I saw the fins. I was like, holy crap. And I realized. Sierra was saying orcas. I was in distress for Billy because I was like, everybody was up top and everybody was even looking backwards, but nobody was registering or their eyes weren't looking on the right spot. And I was like, if they don't look now, they're not gonna see it. So I was like, Billy, like look in the right spot. Very special day. We saw orcas, baby. So far, our first taste of Canada has been nothing short of amazing. We can't wait to see what else she has to offer. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. He's gonna come up right next to you. Whoa! Oh my god. He saw his little face. Thanks so much for watching and coming with us. Make sure to check out the Tula shop where we have a brand new design all based off of this video. See you next week.